Okay, so let's take a look at how to install and set up SQL Server reporting service. So if you haven't installed it during installation of SQL Server, then we will see how to do that. You can also go to the respective version of SQL Server. So in my case, 2019, if you are seeing this in future, it could be 22 or 25 and you can download its installer if you haven't done so through SQL Server installer. So what I will do, so let's go with this particular installer which is 2019 reporting service, click download and it should begin that. So it's 105 MB of download. So it will take some time depending on your internet connection. Right, once downloaded, it should be on desktop for me. So I will double click on that and it should open this welcome message so here you see install reporting services click on that here you will have to choose the edition so you will select developer because developer version is free along with that there is also express version that you can install from this installer there is no enterprise edition so go with developer right then click next accept the terms or if you want you can read through that click next and here you see you will need an instance of SQL Server database engine to store and the report server database right so what you will do is click next here you see it will be on this particular location so we'll accept that hit install it will start the installation okay now once the server finishes installation you can click on configure report server click yes and here it will ask you for server name okay or you can also click on find right and then choose report server instance SSRS then click connect right and you can use this particular user report server configuration manager to do right and here you see the server configuration manager has started running as well right you can browse through the options you can go for service account web service url right so basically it will be available on this particular report server right so can go for localhost 80 and then report server that also works then database you can change the SQL server database for reporting right create a new report server database by clicking on that click next right server name authentication Okay, now here make sure to get your server name right then test your connection right then click next here you can choose the database name report server click next also authentication type go with default click next it will verify everything it will tell you success or failure here and then you can finish Okay, as you can see everything is successful click finish so you have your report server database ready and you can also check database credential right so we'll just go here and we will check web report URL here you see we'll have to use configure web services right and here let's see if we can edit something so let's see if I choose 192.168.10 or assigned one, right? All assigned, recommended. So we'll go with that. Port 80, HTTPS not configured, and we can apply this, right? So we'll see if it starts the report server. And we can click on this particular URL to check 
whether we can see the report server so it has named our local host as the computer name that I have okay coming back to let's say web portal URL here you can see you can click on this particular text field and change the reports to something like let's say uh, data or dashboard you can choose that as well also there are email settings if you want to send this report through email then execution account an account that will do make use of the sources right so if you want particular account to use this you can do so then encryption keys so we'll take a look at and that part later then also subscription scale out deployment and power bi so if you want to connect this to power bi you can do so here you see it has managed to connect to your sql server reporting service so we are pretty much set up currently it is not showing you anything because we have not connected to our existing database within sql server right so we'll have to check that everything is functional right so we have managed to set up sql server reporting service now that we have installed sql server reporting service we will see how it goes with sql server management studio so now if you have it open you can okay so if you have management studio open you can right click on your connection then go to reports then standard reports and here you can see performance dashboard server dashboard and many other categories of reports that you can generate right so let's pick one so let's go with server dashboard and it should open window on the right hand side showing you you the your report for server right where you see the current time server instance name product edition then other details activity how much cpu is used then reporting server and queries being processed right and also session related information so this was one of the report that you can get there are many others that you can check by right clicking reports standard report and then here you see performance memory consumption then top transactions then transaction log shipping status service broker right so performance activity and few other actionable data is listed here right so let's go check one of the performance and it should show you sql server performance dashboard where you see current activity right so number of user requests sessions time and few other data here you also see some of the expensive queries by cpu duration clr time so let's go with one here you see the queries that we have got so far which are expensive cpu wise okay so those are listed here you can turn back by tapping on to this button and check your io statistics it will get the data and show it per database basis right read write then wait time average read of time and total io right so these are some of the dashboard reports you can get for performance and typical general overview right so if we close these tabs you can then go to reports and then you can also check custom reports option so here you can uh, put in the report definition language file which will execute some queries that will generate its custom report now next thing right click on your server reports then check one of the activity reports in our case let's go with all sessions and let's see what it shows so here you see 
it will tell you the login name and their respective sessions which you can expand and view what they accessed reporting server or management studio or access to your program for how many seconds CPU time total time and read and write so get pretty much good amount of data out of these reports.